All right, should be recording. I am recording. Let's do this. All right, so our team is like full dive. Their team's full tank. So pretty much, we kill junk rat. We kill very early in the game. So that's like our goal. Also, since they're full tank, like they want to sustain. So healer becomes a higher priority than they are normally. In these first fights, it really doesn't matter. People just do this to stack quests and stare at each other. It's okay to push it really far when you have two healers. Like, if you're not pushing it really far, you shouldn't be going that high in the paint. Woohoo! Oh, uh, they get a couple kills, but at least we get the return. Gotta dodge that chunk rat trap. No, Vic only. Gotta love it when uh, nobody feels like soaking side lanes. As long as no one from their team soaks side lanes, we shouldn't really either. Besides, Tracers are really bad solo, so it's better to just stay in mid lane. So I'm gonna do that. I don't really have a wave clear till 13 though, which is kind of disappointing, but such is life. I'm hoping Genji will go up and take her down. Oh, he is. Alright, I'm gonna go for a gank. Oh, or just kill this guy. Never mind. Alright, chunk rat coming. I have to get out. Deep him. I wanted to get on the Lucio on the back, but since Junkrat's trap was sitting there, I had to leave. Ooh, he changed his trap location. That's kind of nice. Pick up the regen gloves for the health, and we're back at it. Alright, so we're not really going to accomplish anything in mid, but neither are they. They don't have strong push, so it's just better if I come over here and do this. Every character in the game can solo giants ever since the change, because you just dodge the, uh, all of their shots. The little purple doodads, so. Since they can't physically hit you, Unless you're being dumb, like me. They're a pretty easy kill for everyone. Especially Tracer, because you never stop moving as this character. Constantly traced. As long as you're not standing in one spot, you're pretty much good to go. Going for the melee. And we good. So this will give us a little more pressure in mid. Allow us to do a little something something. Yeah, and just go for a little poke. I have a healer right next to me, so I have the right to lose HP. That's how you should think about it. If you're not losing HP and you have a healer nearby, then you're not playing aggressive enough. Like, the whole point of the character is to heal you, so taking damage is actually, like, should be viewed as kind of a good thing. Shooting material, because there's no better target right now. Do -do 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 -do. Eating every bomb in life because I'm being bad. Oh, baby. Oh, that actually hit the Varian by complete accident. I got it right in between his, uh. Discharges there. I want to go get seeds, but, like, as long as I'm keeping four people in mid, it's pretty good for us. Don't want to shoot Varian while he's parrying. It's no good. No bueno. Do a little dash away. Need to go start getting seeds on my team. This will split them up, and as long as they're split up, that's pretty good for us. But if we can get aggressive side seeds, that'd be really nice. Oh, I'm on that junk. Nice. Ooh. We're gonna dash that. So here, if it's between shooting Tyrael and Sonya, we always want to shoot the Sonya. She's a higher priority target. But since all I really have access to is Tyrael right now, just gonna go for that. Give him a bomb. He should be pretty dead. Yeah, he is. Nice. Dodge the blast. Take Spatial Echo. In my opinion, there's just nothing better than Spatial Echo. Because you get resets on kills. It makes you like a little bit of a Lee Ming, kind of. Being a little bit like a Lee Ming is always a pretty good thing. If you're playing Tracer aggressive enough, and you're always going in for your high value priority targets in the back, since your high value targets are really squishy, you're almost always going to reset. And you can get, like, you can never get more jumps than you get as a, uh, 
resetting tracer is the maximum number of jumps that you can possibly get in any single team fight. So while a lot of people like jumper, it's uh, in my opinion not very good, so I never take it. Alright, higher value target is Lucio, so I'm gonna skirt around the junk rat. Nice. Charge to Sonya, and then we go back in. So again, Lucio is the high priority target, so. Ah. Oh, that was so close. Alright, so right there, you'll notice that I stopped attacking Varian. That's because I did a cool mechanical thing. So if you press hold position as Tracer instead of pressing. Um, sorry, looking at talents. Instead of pressing stop, then Tracer will actually stop shooting. So if I'm shooting the tower and then I press hold position, she stops shooting and you can run away. So for characters like Varian, who people often pick to hard counter Tracer due to the nature of his uh, taunt forcing you to attack and give him parry stacks, then you can just hit H or whatever you've bound hold position to on your computer and immediately negate his ability to hard counter you. So a lot of people don't do that for whatever reason. Don't really know why, but that's just how it is, I guess. So take the end of your games, make it happen. We only need to get five more. Let me go up here and make that happen. Do do do. All right, got one. Just stay out of melee range here, right? Like he can't really do anything to me unless he gets into melee range. Oh, I thought for sure she would go for a uh, sword pull. She went for one there, but same thing. Anytime you're fighting melee, if you just stay out of melee range. So that's one parry down. That's two. All right. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Whatever. I didn't want to shoot him there because I thought he'd get another parry in. Feels bad, man. So really, Taranda right there by uh, shooting during his shield enabled the pulse bomb to uh, not get the kill by allowing him to get another shield up, which is a little sad, but can't control your teammates, life goes on. I'm going with Quantum Spike. It helps get the resets, it helps put on pressure, it gives you a lot of damage in team fights. As, um, in late game, frequently one Tracer melee, a full clip, and Quantum Spike is more than enough to kill a Squishy outright, so kill in this game like Lucio or a Junkrat. And so if I can just remove one threat, immediately reset my jumps, I can save my E when I go deep, which allows me to have greater survivability through the middle part of the cleanup phase, and just continue to th shred their team apart. So that's why I am taking a Quantum Spike. You really only go for um, Pulse Bomb if you're going for the memes, and you just want to get off a lot of Pulse Bombs. Otherwise, uh, Sticky Bomb is for when their team is hard for Tracer to deal with, so they have a lot of lockdown, a lot of CC, and they're not going to let you ever really do what you want. In those instances, it's just better to pick a Sticky Bomb because you're going to play more of a utility Tracer than you're going to play anything else. And... Uh, you want to maximize your effectiveness in team fights. That's what it's always about. How much can I maximize my effectiveness in team fights? So notice here I've been able to save my E this whole time, and that's almost entirely because of all the resets I've been getting in team fights. If I hadn't been getting all of these resets, then uh, right, I would have run out of blinks a long time ago. I'm gonna take the easy dodge. I'm gonna get got on, but it's no big thing. He'll survive because Lili has a lot of survivability, so I get to just free clean up the Sonya. Easy, easy. A variant up top. He uh, he did take Colossus Smash and not Taunt, so not only does he take away his only ability to hard counter my character, or at least attempt to hard counter my character, but now I can just kind of get out of every situation because he won't taunt me into the ground. I'm gonna take a tap before I fight here. All right. And here we go, once again, getting the uh, 
I'm gonna get the quick resets. It's gonna allow me to just. Here I'm blocking, body blocking, so that he can't actually do anything. I'm gonna pause. All right. Well, got five blinks. So even though the Genji finished him off, we still get that. Uh, the resets go out the other side and save the E. So even if Sonya had been like ganking right there, or Junkrat had come out of spawn on his rocket, um, I would have been able to just get out of dodge with my E. Again, the resets on kill for jumps are just constantly comes in handy, constantly comes in handy. Mm. I would base, but I have a healer like waiting right here. So when I get up here, I'll be able to just get healed. Uh, or not. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> or he'll just heal himself. And uh, and then I'll, I'll be really dead. And he'll feel bad. Alright, cool. I got some heals right there. Again, I use the hold position trick right there to deny him uh, procs. And just keep using that. Get my reset. Oh, we're going to E out because their entire team's coming. I don't have enough jumps to deal with that situation. So That's basically all it's about. Is do you have enough jumps to deal with the situation? If you do, right, then you can take on the world. If you don't, you're going to have a bad time. Sanctification. I'm going to grab the globes for some quickie healing. And we're going to get the resets. And easy piece, no problem. Nice. Big outplay. So I'm going to go for sleight of hand. I would always recommend going for locked and loaded. It's technically the most damage you could do. I'm going for sleight of hand because I'm talking right now. And I uh, literally just do not trust myself to be able to talk and play locked and loaded at the same time. So hopefully in a, uh, a future tutorial, after I've done a couple of these, I'll be able to explain how to do locked and loaded. There you go. I just need to tag him so I can see him in the bush. Alright. You can see him now. We're good. Stay out of melee range. We're good. And he's down. Oh, by the way, I didn't really explain why I took melee at 13, so it just gives Tracer wave clear. And in team fights, it gives her a uh, massive AoE. Alright, cool. Oh, we gotta stop attacking. So we wait. Just wait. Don't attack. No problem. Massive AoE. Alright, stop again. Don't want to attack him. Fade it out. Stop attacking. Nice. And now we can dive. And get a bunch of damage. And once again, it's okay to take damage by diving that fort. I have two healers. So going in there is really not that threatening to me. Easy. So I guess bomb there was an overkill. But I didn't realize Dragon was going to do that much damage. Well, I'm just not shooting Varian until he has no parries. And then we're going to go in on him. And we get the double. I dashed through. I was hoping to go for the, uh, the Lucio, but he did a good job of avoiding me. So no follow there. But here we use melee. Get that, get that wave clear. Get that wave clear. Dun, 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 dun. I was kind of hoping to go for the junk rap, but he doesn't want to step out. So I just wait for the minions to come in and I'll be able to kill this fort. Oh, I would much rather go for seeds whenever the map objective is up. I want to play the map objective, but that team fight was so long and we won it so hard that uh, we're going to get free like forts. And technically speaking, like the game is won by pushing over their, their buildings. And you only get... Um, the whole point of the map objective is, is to get it so that you can get buildings. So if I have the opportunity to take free unpunished buildings, uh, then I'm going to go for that over the map objective. But that it's not actually that common of an occurrence that you should be ignoring seeds and getting the fort. I am plan on doing a whole bunch of uh, videos that will cover rotation and how to do rotation because it's actually very simple. This game has a very cut and dry rotation so that you can always be in the correct spot on the map. And uh, in general, as long as the map objective is up, you always fight over the map objective. 
in general, of course. Just gonna kill this real quick so it doesn't do nothing crazy. Oh yeah, fight. So once again, I can kind of ignore this whole thing. I'm just gunning for the Lucio. I'm all about getting the people in the back. Oh, he got wrapped, so I'm ignoring him. I'm on the Sonya. The Varian's higher priority, and then he's back out. Ooh, sketchy! That was scary. Alright, Tyriel, just again, stay out of melee range while I shoot these guys. Ah, damn. We got really split. That was a really good sanctification. The fact that Lucio got out with 1 HP was actually extremely bad for us. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. In the end, we're still level ahead, and we have a uh, tear. So we still get. In the end, we're like winning in pressure really, really hard. So they're doing the right call. They're gonna go for this, and then they'll finish off the tear. Trying to get as much value out of the situation as possible. Do, 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 do. And then, as long as our tear goes over here, we have a. Uh, free time. So the fact that these two people are still here is actually a mistake. My team should capitalize on this and then play defense on the tear where possible. Because they're basically really split, right? So one of us is over here, and if we count numbers, one versus two, right? Which means that we have the ability to get a numbers advantage elsewhere on the map while our tear is applying pressure and try and get a kill with it. Oh, back one versus three, so it's even better. Since this fort is all, like already so close to being dead, I don't see much of a point in killing the um and actually killing the pot. It's almost always better to kill the pot. So, in that instance, you're getting like a game where a lot of things happening are kind of abnormal. What I would consider abnormalities in a way. Alright, so he's dead, she's dead. Oh, what? Damn. Get stuffed. So get stuffed reduces your melee cooldown, and melee is a huge, just absolutely massive chunk of uh, Tracer's damage. So. Yeah, not fast enough. It also instantly triggers your bomb. So for a lot of situations, a lot of things, like for example, uh, had Lucio taken Break It Down instead of Reverse Amp, uh, one of the things that you could do is go in and stick a backline carry and blow them up before Lucio's uh, Break It Down will actually have gone off. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking would happen there. Alright. I guess he just wanted to die himself. A little disappointed Toronto didn't heal me there, but life goes on. So always look for the next thing. Never have idle time in your game. You always want to be going from the next one point to the next point. There we go and stop the terror. The moment the terror is dead, I don't sit and wait. I go and get a camp. I try and apply pressure to the map. I try and clear a wave. Whatever it is, I'm going to do it immediately. Here, I'm going to come down here and clear this wave simply because... Uh, right, we don't have a wave that's actually pushing on anything valuable. They're just kind of hovering out in the middle of the map right now. So they're not doing anything, right? They're, this isn't really doing anything. It'll get to the keep eventually, and when it does, that's cool. But since it's not there, and their camp was actually applying pressure to our structures, actually doing something important, it's just more important to play defense in that situation than it is to do anything else. Again, we're just looking for the value target. I don't know if he has parry, so I didn't want to put the bomb on him. Alright, there's the sanctification. Get the bomb off, get the reset. Once again, resets come in handy. Once again, resets come in handy. Ooh. Oh gosh. Ah, so close. So close, so close. With a win that big, we can actually just like cheese for it. 
or at least Genji can go and choose for it. And the rest of us can just get seats. Nice. All about them seeds, all about them seeds. But like I said last time, right? We won a big fight and that gave us time to go push buildings. But here, it, like, it was going to take me so long and there's so much building to get through when you're going for a keep that it's actually just not worth it. It's just more worth it in this instance to punish for a garden tear. And that's why I've decided to go for the garden tear this time instead. So for any of you wondering, was that a good time to go for buildings? Uh, no. <laughs> just no. Don't, don't try and push keep right there. That's asking to throw the game because then they res kill you in uh, reverse core and no one likes to get reverse core. Well, I'll take it back. There's somebody out there who enjoys throwing games and they think reverse core is the coolest thing ever, but just the cat's meow. This is actually a really, really good situation. Well, bye bye. <laughs> oh! I mean, Junkrat saves his life, but. It's not actually that impactful. This was really nice. Good job by their Tyrael. Tyrael just saved their whole team from dying. Oh, oh, oh. Big scary things. Alright, I'm seeing the junk right up here. And that's again the higher value target. Oh! Oh, that was so close. Like I said, see how the reset gave me the four jumps there? So it's like having jumper when you need it, but getting more jumps when jumper wouldn't give it to you. That's a perfect example of why you take reset jumps instead of jumper. And never take bullet time at seven because it is just unlikely that you're going to get enough hits in all the time against every team comp or any team comp really to justify taking that oh resets i don't know why i'm harping on this so much but yeah i guess i'm just trying to help you learn dun, 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 dun. nice to uh oh yeah, he just did. All right, never mind. Whoa. Here again, just split the difference on uh, who gets hit right. Taronda's heal heals her, and it heals me. So if we're both taking damage, then when we get healed, it's kind of bonus. And it looks like he has mending mark anyway, so. So no, no, there's no map objective in play, right? So we don't have to play around the map objective. We have to just get camps and look for a fight. So if my team starts getting in a fight, I'm just going to ditch this camp straight up because it is simply more important late in the game to win big fights, right? If we win a fight or we lose a fight, that's probably going to mean game over. So it is more important to get in a fight than anything else. No matter what you're doing, just drop it, get in the fight. Always going to be better. I mean, we don't want to right now because we're down Lily, but sometimes you can't help getting in a fight. All right, we got We're okay there. Oh, this is actually extremely dangerous since we're four versus five. They should assume that since it's one of the two things left on the map, we're on it and pressure us here. But they're not because they're stupid, so it's all good. Once again, you're wondering, like, why do I do camps instead of pushing lanes? Or why do I not soak in this instance? Well, the levels are even. There's no differential that's worth anything because there's no talents. And the only time pushing is worth it is when the wave itself is actually pushing on anything. But since we don't have any waves like that, it's kind of eh. But now... They don't, we are in position. Our waves are going to be pushing on important things first. Beautiful. Right there, all I did was wait out his, uh, oh, she's invulnerable because they're in the stasis. All right, cool. All I did there, right, was just wait out
his uh, parry and then go in. Here I'm going on the uh, Tyrael just because he's so low. Even though, like I said, Sonya's technically a higher value target. Go on the Junkrat because he's the high value target. Get him. Now we're on Lucio. And we're going to E out the safety. Because I almost died. And the resets get me out of dodge. Easy peasy. So, we get the win, so it's just game over, baby. No problem. So, I hope you learned a lot about Tracer today. You know, watch more stuff, like, and subscribe. Peace.